Hello everybody. So today I want to talk about chemistry, the topic that is about the balance. So now I want to show you how to answer. The first thing we need to balance about this one. So I will put number two in here. So number three with number two, we have number six because on the left and on the right, we should be about balance. So number five with number two, we have number 10. We have the hydrogen in here. So that means we need to put number five. The next one, number three and number two, we have number six. So this one should be about number three. So we can see that number six with number two, we have 12 oxygen. Number five with number one, we have five. So we have nine multiplied by two, we have 18. So we need to minus two number in here. And that means we just have only one over two of oxygen. So you got number one. Because 1 over 2 multiplied by number 2, we have number 1. So that means in this situation, we need to multiply both sides by number 4. And that should be like this. So this one we have number 6. This one we have number 12. This one we have number 10. And this one we have number 1. And we can put like this. So on the question, we know that they obtain about 750 grams of nitroglycerin. That is about this one. So we need to find the moles of this one. So that should be about the mass. We divide by the molar mass. So we know that carbon, that is about 12 grams per mole. Hydrogen, that's about one. Nitrogen. That is about 14. And oxygen, that is about 16. So we have the total mass is about 750 grams. So we have 3 carbon. So we have 12 multiplied by 3. We have 5 hydrogen number 5 multiplied by number 1 nitrogen that's about 14 multiplied by number 3 and oxygen that is about 16 multiplied by number 9 and now we calculate this one and we have Three point three moles in here. So in this one we put three point three in here. So we want to find the moles of oxygen. So we put this one going here. So this one we have number one. So the moles of the oxygen that is about 3.3 multiplied by number one we divide by number four and this one we have 0 0.825 moles so we can find the mass of the oxygen in here
So this is about the molar mass of the oxygen because we have two oxygen. That's why we have number two. The molar mass of the oxygen, that is about 16. And this one, we have 26.4 grams. The next one, they want to find the percentage U of this one. So the final answer in here, that should be about 23.3. This is about the real mass divided by 26.4. This is about on theory. So we multiply by 100%. So we calculate this one and we have 88.26% and this is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.